There's a type of filter that I use quite often when I'm playing the game, and I've been asked to explain it. It's not my creation in particular. I found it watching somebody else's video, and that person found it from also somebody else. So I have no idea where it originated from, but I certainly did not come up with it on my own. The concept that you have to understand is that when a pipe is full of one gas, like this has one gram per second of oxygen in it, then only oxygen can be merged into that pipe. I can just demonstrate this with a bridge. As you can see, the packets of oxygen are moving from the bottom pipe into the top pipe because they're able to merge into the top pipe because the top pipe has oxygen in it already. But the, the packets of carbon dioxide are not able to merge from the bottom pipe into the top pipe because there is already oxygen in the pipe and you can't merge carbon dioxide into a packet of oxygen. This is already, in a sense, a filter. We are filtering the oxygen out of the bottom pipe and putting it into the top pipe. So we're just just going to use this principle set up in a different way in order to make a filter. I'm going to put a valve right there and we'll make a, a pipe like this. But what I have here is a pipe that's really just in a, a loop, a very small loop, and I'm going to prime that loop with oxygen so that there's only oxygen in this loop. When I talk about priming a filter, that's what I mean. So now that there is oxygen in every location in this pipe, it is primed and ready to be a filter. I need to set the flow of the valve to one gram per second. You only need one gram per second in the pipe in order to prevent anything else besides oxygen from merging into it. Now all we have to do is bridge whatever is in the bottom pipe into the filter. You'll see right away that the oxygen in the bottom pipe is merging into the, the loop up here, the filter. But now that the filter is full, the oxygen is just going past. That makes sense because the filter is full. There's no place for the oxygen to go. So let's set that up so that there is a place for the oxygen to go. I'm just going to make a gas reservoir. There we are. Uh, so you'll see packets of oxygen come along this pipe. They get bridged into this little loop. But in practice, there are some caveats. Since there is already one gram of oxygen in this pipe, if you get a full 1,000 gram packet of oxygen coming down this pipe, then only 999 grams of that oxygen can be bridged over into the filter. I'm going to demonstrate that. Okay, here comes some full packets of oxygen. And as you can see, most of the packet got went into the filter, but there's still one gram left over that didn't make it through, just as we expected. The way to fix that is to just put in a second bridge, like this. With the second bridge there, most of the packet can be bridged into the filter across the first bridge. And if there's one gram left over, then that can be bridged into the filter using the second bridge. Now, if you're very clever, you may have noticed that even this will be overwhelmed if you have a full pipe of oxygen moving nothing but full packets of oxygen for 1,000 seconds. That is a valid weakness of using this filter, but I've never seen that issue come up in the game, and I can't think of a time when that might be a problem. Regardless, if you did find yourself in a situation where that's an issue, then you could just use a different filter. The other caveat to using this kind of a filter is if this pipe gets backed up, like if this reservoir got completely full of oxygen and this pipe backed up all the way to the filter, then the filter would become overloaded and oxygen would no longer go into the filter. The oxygen would just continue down this pipe and go maybe somewhere you don't want it to go. That's a limitation of this filter that you may need to think about depending on your, the application that you're using it for. Um, the really good thing about this filter is you absolutely never ever get anything but oxygen in this output pipe. One important thing that you need to be aware of if you're going to start using this kind of filter is that the, the gas is moving right to left in the loop up here and it's moving left to right in the, the pipe down here. They have to go opposite directions in order for it to work properly. If they go the same direction, then the problem where you have one gram left over from a full pipe of oxygen will continue to be a problem. I think that's everything you need to know about this kind of filter, and I don't really intend it to be 
cool new insights that people haven't thought of. This is definitely a common thing that people who have been playing the game for a while all know about. Uh, but it's also a common thing that people who haven't been playing the game for very long really all should learn about. Uh, so I guess this video hopefully will serve that purpose. In any case, it will make it easier to understand what I'm doing when I'm using it in a game that I'm playing and you're watching. I think for tomorrow I should have a part two ready for my series about taming volcanoes. I will see you there.